everyone, in this video, I wanted to show you how to add end screens to your YouTube videos. And in 2019, the new YouTube studio actually changed the way you add end screens. Now you do it in the YouTube editor. I wanted to show you how to do it. I actually went back and added end screens to over 300 of my videos that were missing end screens. I actually didn't make it a habit of adding end screens. And by doing so, it increased my traffic by 25%. I get 25% more views now on all my videos because I added end screens to every single one. And my end screen basically have two of my latest videos showing on the side or two recommended videos. So when the video ends or it gets near the end, it will show that to the viewer so they could click it so they could continue watching things on your channel. So in this video, I wanted to show you how to set up end screen so you could get more views on YouTube. This was changed in 2019 and the new YouTube studio does things a little bit differently. So I wanted to update this video to show you how to set that up. So here's a couple of different ways to get to YouTube studio. The first way is to go to your channel under the videos tab. So I'm on my channel here under the videos tab and there is an icon here, YouTube studio that will take you there. It's still in beta for a couple more months at the time of this recording. Or another way to get to it is on your profile icon on top of the page, there is YouTube studio. So if you click that, it will bring you into YouTube studio. Once we get into YouTube studio, I'll show you how to get to the end screen tab when you upload a video for the very first time also. But here on there, your dashboard, that's where you land. You want to change and go to videos. This is the tab under your channel. Go there and you will see all your videos here under the videos tab. Even the one I have not published yet, but you could also see all the public ones here. So let's say I wanted to change the end screen to one of these videos. Let me just click this video here. You basically click the video to go to that video page and here you have your editing options. So tags, description, title, playlist, everything is here. And if yours doesn't look like mine, I actually have TubeBuddy installed to get keywords and a lot more recommendation to rank my videos. I'll put a link in the description to TubeBuddy. It's how I grow my channel basically. It's my number one tool of growing my channel. So you could get a free copy of that if your channel doesn't look like mine here. But here for end screen, you want to go to editor right here. Under the video tab, there is an editor option. Click that and that will bring you to a page where you could add end screen graphics. So just to show you what this used to look like, this is what it used to look like on the creator studio, the old creator studio. You had to go to video manager under videos and here you could have used templates to end, end screen graphics. So it's completely rehauled and different in the new YouTube studio. And if you upload a video for the first time here, I'm uploading a video for the very first time to add end screen here. I recommend you do the same exact process here. Go to the bottom of the page and click YouTube studio to take you to that same page I'm showing you and go through the same process. Again, I have TubeBuddy installed. So the end screens are one of the options that TubeBuddy gives you right when you upload a video. But really the best option is to use this option that I showed you from the beginning to land on this editor page through the creator studio. So now let's look at how we add an end screen. So I removed all my end screens. As you could see in the middle of the page, there is add an end screen. This option will give you some things that you could add on the screen. Add blur is another option and I'm sure this editor is gonna get more features as we go here. But let's go ahead and add an end screen by clicking that and it's gonna give you some templates. So you could use templates like this. This will be a subscribe icon. This will be the next video or you could do it from blank. I could do it from blank here and then I'll just press apply here on the side and it will create these four different boxes for me. Each one could be a different element. Let me click on the first one. And when you click it, it's gonna give you this pop-up here where you could choose a video, playlist, subscribe channel, or link. Which one of them do you want? In this case, I wanna have a video. I wanna tell people where to go. And it created this video for me. You see this square here. And on this side, it's gonna ask me, what do you want that video to be? Most recent upload, best for the viewers, or choose a specific video. I'll choose a specific video in this case and it's gonna give me all my videos. Now this one's about Instagram, so I want something that's related to Instagram. So I'll choose this one, how to schedule a post on Instagram. That's gonna show up here now. It's not gonna update it right now, but you could do a preview, I'll show you that in a second. So now that element has been made. So if I want to make it longer, I could always do that. You see where I just click on the side here and it could be up to 20 seconds long. So this is the longest that element could be. 
So right now it's 20 seconds. If I wanted to make it shorter, I could drag and make it shorter. So this is how you change the duration of the element. Let's do a second one this time. Let's do subscribe. So I want people to subscribe to this channel that will put that icon over here. As you could see, show hover card right here. This is where that element is going to take place. And if I wanted to add another video here, I could do that. I could take another box and I could do another video. And again, I could choose a specific video or best for the viewer. In this case, let's try best for the viewer. And then that will put it here. And this is the zoom in and zoom out into my timeline. So I could always use this here to zoom in and zoom out of my timeline. And I could extend some of these. So I'll have the subscribe and best for viewer all be the same length for 20 seconds towards the end of the video to show up here. And on this side, if you press these three dots, you could always delete all these elements if you want to. And when you're done here, make sure you press save on top and that will apply all those elements I just added to my video as soon as I press save. So now the save has been applied. So for me to test that, I just have to take this little arrow here and put it right before the thumbnail start here. And I could just go to the video and press play. The end screen thumbnails just showed up just like that. So if I just take this playhead and I'll put it here, it started play. Once it hits those, it will show them here. The one that says best for the viewer is different for every single person. That's why you can't see exactly what that is. So if you choose that option, it's going to always show up as this kind of a blue background because it's different for every viewer. So that's how you add a end screen element to your YouTube videos. And it's a great way to get people to stick around to your channel. I hope you found this useful. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. I post weekly YouTube videos just like this one so you could get the most out of your YouTube channel. And I hope to catch you next time. Thanks for watching.